My dear students, welcome back to school to a new scholastic year. Uh, this is your teacher, teacher Dima Abu Sharikh, and I will be teaching you English language arts. To start with, I would like to start with a, an introduction about myself. I've been teaching for 16 years in Jordan. I've taught English, social studies, and business, and teaching is my passion. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about the English language arts course a description, the skills that we're going to cover, the process that we are going to go through, the timeline, and the assessment strategy. To start with, our English course is a student-centered learning environment where you will analyze text, cite evidence, and respond critically about your learning. As for the skills, we will have four skills, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. And you will find on the main page self-assessment tools that you can use to uh, assess your development throughout the year. You will engage in activities that inspire thoughtful discussion and debate with your peers, allowing you to formulate and defend your own perspective. It's very important uh, in the English course to, uh, to show your personality and character throughout your writings and throughout your discussions. In the English language, we are going to hit four key concepts, communication, perspective, connections, and creativity. Now, in our English uh, book, there will be a selection of different genres, including multimedia. We will discuss novels, we will discuss short stories, poetry, articles, and um, we are going to uh, discuss essays as well. We will connect our lessons and our units to the global context uh, as part of being global citizens. Uh, we can connect one uh, unit to identities and relationships or globalization and sustainability or personal and cultural expression and so on. Throughout this scholastic year, we are going to cover four units. Each unit has a variety of, um, of texts uh, that have different genres that will be connected to different key concepts and different global contexts. As for the assessments, assessments in the English language uh, course are going to be ongoing assessments. You will have formative and summative assessments. The importance of these assessments is to see the development that you are, um, the way you are developing throughout the year. Um, and to see how much you're taking from the course. Thank you very much, and I can't wait to see you in my class. This was your English teacher, Dima Obsharikh.